What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Weather's great. My back kind of hurts. Got step wrong. But how y'all doing? Doing something I've been wanting to do with this freaking hunk of junk for the longest time. I'm talking long. Like I'm praying it comes out good. Like I'm really praying it does. But of course. Don't be on Jackson's again. It never fails. It never fails. Go ahead and chop these bad boys up. Ah. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm hella freaking hungry. And whoever comments, my love nuts are different colors. Love, man. Mind your business. My wool doesn't come off. I'm in the process of that. But in the meantime, it's gonna be alright. I need to clean these freaking wheels too. I need to send to go get redone, matter of fact. But, alright. This video, we will be cleaning the wheel woods up today. I just noticed something. This car is testing my limits, but it is. And you are an angel. Bro, that's a brand new boot. What well, was a brand new boot? Well, that shit blew the Add it to the agenda today. Add it to the agenda. I'm not gonna move this big old behemoth of a freaking toolbox. I should probably empty it out more, but I'm kind of lazy. My goal is to go from here, guys. To over there. <sighs> I guess it's like a shop update too, if you want to call it that. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, honestly. The wheels are still kind of locked up when I was trying to move. I said it moved so easy, but yeah, we in motion. I'm trying to get some stuff moved over so I can start on the calipers so that while I'm recording this video and they are drying, I'm also moving some stuff. So we're doing two things at one. Multitasking. The animals seem like beat up. Hopefully this video though, they will change. It's gonna look saucy. I was supposed to maybe go to a car meet tonight, but as long as it's gonna happen. Focus on moving the stuff because I want it all done by today, obviously. So yeah. We need some motion. Alright, so I've had these calipers for about maybe like pff, three years now. I got them a long time ago. I resurfaced them twice. What was said you weren't supposed to? I mean, realistically I see no issue doing so. Um if I'm not supposed to, so I'm gonna tell me in the comments right away. But um, it's pretty straightforward. Let's take them off. I already removed one bolt. There's a 14 millimeter right here. They do go on a bracket, so I'm gonna remove just the caliper, not the bracket itself. Do that. And then from there, we have our brake line fitting, which is this one right here. Yeah, that's basically all there is to it, to these brakes. Just this brake line right here. It doesn't look like it's gonna leak if I hold it up. So maybe just might hold it up like this, or get it stuck like that. I don't think the fluid will overfill. Hopefully not. Yeah, I think we'll be good like that. And then from there, and just like that, comes right off. I basically take off the roller if you guys wanna inspect that, but basically just a bracket right there from Woodwood. And from there, here's the caliper. It's a Dash 6 fitting here with a 90. That's how they come for my specific model caliper. I forgot the actual part number to it, but um, yeah, they weren't cheap when I got them. Anyways, brake pads still look good, but you guys can tell caliper looks the goal at the end of this video is to, look to make these calipers look hopefully brand new so we gotta break clean them take the grease off scrub them down i bought new fittings i was gonna buy off four but realistically what you guys in this little trick um these are four bleeder screws i don't know if you can tell yeah it's four bleeder screws i only bought the two or four but two for each outside one because these inner ones I realistically don't ever even need them. Um, they're just there. So yeah, I'm replacing these two auto bleeder screws. You can tell they start rounding off. I'm gonna clean them up and hopefully make them look brand new because most people didn't even know I had these. So, you know, time to see if I can make them look a little more fancy. Okay, after some pro power, some brake cleaner, some wire brush, some scuffing pad. This is what we got right now, guys. Not the worst. 
not the best. Obviously, they used to be red, and they don't look the nicest, but hey, we're getting there. So right now, for the most part, you need to clean the insides, and I'm gonna just hit everything, take off these bleeder screws, top and bottom, and scrub the inside there more, because you see some black. Scuff it down as much as I can until I feel like it's perfectly clean, because I don't want paint to be on this, and then it just flake off, you know, because of the cheap stuff that's on here. So yeah, I at least want to get one side done, maybe in this video, and then tomorrow I'll proceed with the next, because I was planning to finish this today, but if I do try to finish this today, it's not going to get done the way I want it to. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and take apart these screws, sand it down with more sandpaper, scuff it, get a drill on that wire wheel, and go ham. See how much we can move. Bare metal would be nice, but let's see how far we can get. Okay, it's about four hours later. Give or take. I stopped doing the calipers. Um, started helping me and the homie Brian out. We moved in. This is technically our little shop slash unit. We're gonna be doing side work now. So we got everything moved in. Started getting more customer stuff in and a lot more custom work in. So yeah, but so as a note, um, we finished up. We still need to organize some stuff, but kind of took a break from that for today. And I went ahead and started doing my calipers a little more. Started sending them down and they got a smooth finish to them, which is pretty nice. I mean, they're not going to be the best because, I mean, you know, they are old and you guys can tell them look in the best condition. The new calipers run about like $500. These never caused me an issue. I took off all the bleeder screws and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with them to be honest. I mean, if, not, if it ain't broken, I'll fix it. You know what I mean? I'm just changing the color up, so... Yeah, I think the only thing I'm gonna do right now is the bleeder screws because I took all of them out just so I can get all the area. Um, I don't want to take these Allen keys out or hex bolts out because I don't want it to leak. Pistons are good. I'm gonna just tape up the inside because theoretically you're not gonna see that. I'm still gonna paint it, but I mean, it's as good as it gets, you know, because everything else is just really stuck on there. So the primer should help out. I'm gonna sand it. This looks hard, but realistically, it's super smooth. Like everything's really smooth. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna paint it. And right when everything's about to be dry, get some fine sandpaper and polish these letters out so it stands out. And then we hit it the clear coat. So hopefully, hopefully these calipers look a lot better. But before, obviously you guys saw, it looked horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna just spray it one time with brake cleaner again, make sure there's no oils on it for the paint to stick on and should be good to go. So the color we're going with, shout out again. If you guys need your stuff, if you're in the Fresno, Clovis, Ridley area, Patterson paint. They hooked your boy up, like you do it every single time. Uh, gave me the color code for the engine bay. Obviously it's dirty, but I mean, you know, I painted my, painted my valve cover on engine bay. You know, I got my clear coat from them. This is out of a can, you guys, just so you guys know, out of a can. And I mean, it's not like crazy, you know, but I mean, it does a job. So what we're using is a uh, Spray Max. And this is the base coat, which is a white base coat, which is recommended. Base coat, white. They even tell you which ones you would need, not just like a regular gray primer that most people would get, I would assume. And then the paint we're using is going to be a yellow. It's going to be right there, mixed by Patterson Paint. It's a Mercedes AMG Electric Beam. If you guys want the code to it, this is what it is. I'm not going to gatekeep from nobody. If you guys end up liking this color, but like I said, paint shop has this kind of stuff. Cool. I mean, always says be better by out of a gun. Do I have that? No. So this is what I'm going to... This is what we're gonna use. Hopefully it comes out great. Um, basically the best advice for me was take your time, don't rush it, you get close to the in between. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this one down. And while I spray this one down, hopefully, hopefully by the time I have this one done, um, let it dry overnight and have the other caliper off and ready for paint. So that's the goal in this video. So that's the first hit with this primer. Um, he specifically told me as bad as I want to, he said, don't go heavy. I mean, I don't think that's crazy heavy, but I just, slightly fogged it you can tell so i'm gonna give us like a good 10 15 minutes time it come back again and same thing guys just hit it nothing new so yeah we'll go ahead and get the other side off i think i showed in the video how i took this one off and do that get it off clean it up and maybe we'll see some color right now in this video most likely you guys will but i'm not gonna see it like right now prior to like tomorrow so hopefully it's only taking like two days for this stuff and i still have to repair that freaking axle too so fun Things are busted, yo. Jesus Christ. Slack that I'm doing this fat. Like, look at the difference already. I mean, I think it's already looking a lot better, but. <laughs> Time for round two. Okay, so. That one I just took off. 
got it cleaned up. I'm not gonna record the whole process because it is a process, but same thing. Sandpaper, 180 grit, wire wheel, but it died. Lots of brake cleaner. I don't know what chemicals is it mixing in no more. Scotch bright, but that's game see it for tomorrow. I'm not gonna touch that right now. This is after four coats of primer. I think we're looking good. So time. To some paint. Okay, so we're gonna do light coats because the guy at the paint shop told me multiple times do not lay it down heavy because this paint is very translucent, is the word you want to use, I guess. So probably have to see if I can do three base coats before I leave. If not, I'll lay some, lay like two coats, let it dry overnight, come back tomorrow, lay a couple more. And yeah, so let's get it. Oh, nigga, this is gonna look crazy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, the last clip was me painting my calipers, guys. And, uh, ah. now we're um, on the side of the road. <laughs> we're gonna have to jack up the taking. You wanna tell them why, Henry? You wanna tell them what you did? <laughs> no, we'll talk about it. Oh, buzz. That one went hella fast. You can do it. Oh, uh, what a Monday. What a freaking Monday. Hopefully his freaking transmission housing though isn't stripped. Because if it is, what's bending? Oh, I know it's normal. But if we do need to re-thread it, we have two options. I re-thread it. We have the heated pole kit, but that's the process in itself. Or he has to get a new shifter that deletes the stabilizer bar which they make, but, you know. Right now we're just trying to lift it up a little bit so you can get under. So I told you to bring the jack. If you can get under there and maybe at least throw it on real quick. Let me see if I can go under like that, I think I can. Uh, well the unit is like down shit over there. So we can make it over there and give it a proper fix with a bolt. It'll be good. I'm not gonna lie, for this tune, on my tune, for, for the 85, move and give me like a bus with ac and power screen so bad all right trying to get it Ugh. i fell off that fast are you kidding me it fell off huh fuck a quick fix huh god damn it car got stuck in first so we're gonna just drag it like that Hey, as long as I got stuck in the gear, we'll be good. I mean, technically we should get a bolt, but I mean, it's a Honda, it'd be all right, you know what I mean? It could probably go with no oil and it'll still run. I've seen that happen. My own eyes. Nothing else but a Honda, man. Hondas don't die. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. So luckily it wasn't too far. Oh, but I think it doesn't go crazy right now. Ooh. If we happen nearby to where we have all our stuff, you know, so like we don't have to like tow it or nothing or like keep going back and forth all crazy. So that's good. So two, a brother's wrap already came in. So we're gonna start doing some body work. I'm not gonna reveal the color of the wrap just yet, but just know. Yeah, boy, that looks awesome. I really need to upload at least every weekend because I just want to put more content on. I keep slacking on editing and just, yeah, things like that. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think if I should upload more to whomever watches this. And then the bucket. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my other caliper a quick touch of a paint. This is what I left off last time from the last clip. You guys can see right there. So luckily it dried up good. So right now with another coat I give it, maybe like two more, it'll really harden. So then I can let it like bake hella nice. Spray the other one. And then when I clear coat them all together, they all have been like,
properly cured, I would say. And then I can also re-clear my headlights at the same time, because you guys can't see it. There's yellowing going on, and I'm not a fan of that, so... Yeah, because we're going to a meet next weekend. Miso Fresh, I think it's called. I, I probably said that wrong, but... Yeah, I just want to clear up the headlights and the calipers, so I think they're going to look sick. But I think this might be the last layer of it. You guys can tell, always these calipers have been used a very long time. The previous owner made them fit certain wheels and they're not in the best condition, but I'm not gonna spend $500 on a new set of calipers to repaint them when these work perfectly fine. You know what I mean? So yeah, like I said, I took off all the hardware so that'll look decent. The inside you're not gonna see for the most part and everything else, the lettering, I am gonna um, sand down so it's gonna be fully brush finish, but yeah, that's how they look. I think they look pretty good. Obviously, they don't have clear coat on yet, and it's already super shiny, so you can't really turn the camera, but for the most part, everything's hit. All these things are covered up, so no, there's no paint on the threads. With the new hardware, I think it's gonna look super good. Brush lettering, it's gonna look sick, so a lot better compared to the old one right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one cleaned up, ready. So basically, this is gonna be the last one for this one. Get that one painted up, and then start on the headlights. Whoever is wondering, oh, can you show me real quick how you're doing it? I literally have 180 grit sandpaper. I use the wire wheel in the beginning because every time you spray brake cleaner at it, it softens up all the paint. So I'm using that and then obviously it'll leave some grooves like this. So I'm going back with the sandpaper, 180, really aggressive so I can really like eat at the paint and make it as smooth as possible. And then from there, just hitting the corners guys, like literally just folding and just, you can tell that they're not even doing it off the back already taking off paint so yeah so i'm not gonna record it like freaking 20 minutes of sanding down because i don't think anyone's gonna want to watch that so yeah these are just all the blue screws um like i said i have new ones to the outside and then the inner ones were okay condition so i'm gonna just clean them up put them back on so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick with this and then hit it with some primer because these are freaking busted homie yeah they seem better days all right so they look no different than the last clip i'm assuming but they feel very smooth and that's the whole point my term or i guess whatever you want to call it um wording is if it feels smooth it's gonna look smooth because a lot of people are saying oh you can see that you're gonna see the scratches things like that like i say these calipers aren't perfect i didn't get them perfect but i like how these letters are i guess like stuck out because like some calipers are just the wood they're just like painted on there and this has like been my biggest thing with them but like i said they still work no issues at all my brakes are amazing rotors are great condition still so i'm not gonna buy new ones but yeah we're gonna go ahead and primer them up clean them as much as you can with brake cleaner and hit them with the coat of primer i'm about to spray a second caliper and i just realized i was like dude I don't know if you guys noticed in the clip or not, I had the caliper on masking tape like to hold it up and I completely forgot I even had this ladder, like this little small one. I can spray the whole caliper perfect. Like what? Crazy. Now it's going to come out a lot better now because I can get full coverage. I don't know how to wait for it to dry, flip it, things like that. So, <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and primer this one up and let's get them finished up. James the mechanic fixed his car? Oh, fuck. Damn, who's man's? Who's man's? Four year old. Four year old? I bet you can't even clear off first gear right here. Huh? I bet you can't even clear first gear right here. What's that? <laughs> you go for it. That's crazy. That car looks like a sleeper. I mean, it's NA. Always someone's gonna be like, oh, boost it, it'll make more power, but. Bro, that car on E85 when I tuned it, that thing locks my hatch all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can holler smell the E85. God damn. Woo, that's that's damn yeah, that's definitely E85. That's crazy. As heavy as I want to go on this and obviously just lay it thick. Um this is as much as I'm throwing on every single time. Okay, I am three days into this video. I am very exhausted. By last night, I got both calipers painted. I laid down like four coats of primer, you know, fogged them on each single time so it got thicker and thicker. Um, sprayed the coats of the yellow. Good. I'll show you guys a better image of that right now. And I also 
Let me give it like a slight polish to the headlights. So now we are going to proceed with the clear coat. I was noticing I've been doing everything out of a can because I don't have a spray gun. But the quality of them is coming out pretty sick. Same with my headlights. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but in person they're very yellow. Now they look almost brand stinking new. And in order to keep them looking good, I use this spray before on them. That was from AutoZone. Yeah, not a bad idea. This is a 2K Clear Glamour. It has a hardener inside once you press that. If you're ever using this stuff, um, you can just buy it on Amazon, like a good amount. And um, once you use it, use it quickly because it will harden inside the can because of the hardener. So you can't just use it, save it for later. You have to use it. Some people said they had it back, but yeah, I've generally like, had like a day on it. So I want to lay some heavy coats on the calipers. I got at least three, some of the headlights, and we'll. If I still have some stuff or like clear coat left over, I might do my wing. It's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah. It's on camera, but the clear coat's in my engine bay right now, like the glossiness of it, that's what this is. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying this stuff, show you guys how it works, and hopefully get this stuff finished by today. I can probably do my actual, so put this red cap at the bottom of it. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because like I said, once you use, you can't go back. But I know the headlights are good, calipers are decently dry at this point that way they can at least adhere to this so shake it up and you hear it just pop oh i can't do this one one hand hold up pop just like that's activated so i'm gonna give it another shake for like good three minutes once i shake it up i'm gonna go ahead and spray it and show you guys the before and after of the clear coat hopefully it's a good major difference that and it's very good on um, uv protectant so my engine bay obviously gets hot with the valve cover that paint does not get affected whatsoever. So I know the headlights will be good. It'll be clean in the sun, protected. Same with the calipers, then you break through the gets on them. They should be pretty well protected. So yeah, pretty excited about it. Oh damn, the boys sweating. But um, spray some clear coat down. I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. With the headlights and the calipers. But I just wanna show you guys this real quick. I don't know if I showed it in the beginning of the video. If I did, you guys have seen it. I don't remember. I'm still recording. But check it out. I'm just getting so lucky with these axles. Look at this. How did that boot grenade? Is a good question. It was a doorman one, so I should have expected it. This is an OEM Honda one. I wasn't a good OEM Honda one, but <sighs> the meet I'm going to was this weekend, so I kind of didn't have an option. I mean, I should have gone to the dealership and asked. Anywho, yeah, I don't know how that happened, guys. Luckily, I haven't heard any funny noises yet. So that's a good sign. The car didn't feel weird. So, yeah, obviously all the grease is gone. But we do have a new axle boot right there. Yes, it's another doorman one. Only thing I had at the moment was some grease. So it should take me no more than like 10, 15 minutes. For you guys, this video is like probably 30 minutes for me. It's almost a week long, I swear coming to an end guys just bear with me but last night i got everything done the calipers came out i don't know if you guys can tell but oh my lord yes i did shave the letters off they look freaking sick it's almost scary to touch them because they feel like it looks like they're still wet but oh yeah and with the new hardware oh my god it's gonna look amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those there for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the headlight back on, all the front end, and then now I can put the axle back on that I also rebuilt last night too. So that's good to go. And the car should be back on the road today. So that's great news. Let's stop the yapping. Let's get to work. <laughs> So I don't have that bumper bracket. So, oh, I almost broke this thing. 
But I use, not gonna lie, some zip ties to kind of hold the fitment up because the bracket's not there. And I might have my friend right now when he comes pick this up a little bit more. But you can tell with the bracket on there, it lines up dead even. So at least that's on, front end's complete. It's look a lot better now. I don't know if you could tell on camera how they looked before, but they were horrible. You can see the yellow on the headlight and everything. And they look, oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, what I've been waiting for is calipers. My hands are dirty. I don't have any gloves. I forgot to get some. So I'm going to try to do this as clean as I possibly can without making any mess. But no promises. So I'm going to go ahead and get the new hardware going. Bada -bing, bada -boom. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. And hopefully the hatch will be done by today. Yes, today. All right, so I have some things on right now. These two outside ones, like I said, I didn't buy a whole set of four. I should have. I couldn't honestly order them, and they could have been here in time. I didn't think about that, but realistically, um, when you're bleeding four piston calipers, I always bleed them from the very outside. I've done it from the inside, and someone's probably be like, "Oh, you never fully bleed it correctly." But when I would do it from the inside, I had a buttload of air. So yeah, I just um, honestly I don't even know why the hell I'm out here. Maybe to bleed them a little bit better, but. I usually just go straight directly from right here to the outside and my pedal is firm as a rock. So since I did reuse them, they're still good, but I just put some Teflon tape because if you look right here in the new fittings, they use like some thread lock. So yeah. And then this one right here, I left it kind of loose because obviously they're vice versa. They're not like side, um, like they don't belong on a certain side. It's just, you know, whichever you want. So I'm gonna leave this downward. So if I leave it on the right side or left side, I can still turn it a little bit more and we'll be good to go so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and throw these fittings on and then pick up right now flippers are finally on <laughs> they hella bright i'm not even used to that to be honest but that one's on new bleeder screws on they're looking saucy it's hot humid hot now it's time to bleed them matthew pressing the brake pedal and like just like that the car is finally on the freaking ground headlights look 10 times better they actually look like they're flowing now, like they're crystal clear. Sadly, I do have freaking OEM bulbs, so they're yellow. But when I throw white ones on, they look super good. And then, the moment of truth. Oh, bro, these look so good. They're wool woods now, look at that. Hell freaking yes. Now you need to do the rear disc brake conversion, spray these yellow. Oh, they look solid driving down the road now. Literally. Oh, that's fucking hard. Oh, I'm so excited for that. One beat though. I don't know how long the video is. Probably not even that long, but it seems long because I've been doing it for like four days already. I'm gonna let the hatch warm up so I can get the battery charged up for a little bit and then move all the stuff so I can park it out and get ready to take it home today. But yeah, it's humid. But with that being said, calipers look amazing. It is hot. I'm gonna drive the car back home tomorrow because it's getting late. See you guys in the next one.